Hey hi friends, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to discuss one new feature that is introduced in iOS 16 and Swift UI and that is view that fits. Now if you read about this, what this documentation says that a view that adapts to the available space by providing the first child view that fits. So basically in the view that fits what happens that we can tell the system that okay if a definite space is available then take a particular view else so some different view. For example, let's say that you are displaying a list of item in a table view in UI kit, for example, in a list in Swift UI. And let's say that you are getting a array of strings and you have some requirement like that. If this st string is more, let's say that if it is uh, more than three line or two line or four line, then you have to show a button there that let's say a more button or detail button and on, on the click of that button you have to navigate to a new page. Now doing this thing in UI kit but you have to write a lot of code but in Swift UI this becomes very simple using the view that fits. So basically the, the view that fits container allow us to provide multiple views while automatically picking the first one which fits into the available space okay now let's go into the a more practical example where we will understand more about about its implementation okay so here I have taken a dummy data so basically what this data contain this contain just a list of and you can see that I have taken a bigger size string so that no I can have a scenario where this is not fitting in my required two line or three line thing and, and then I also have a smaller size text now let's go to the view and start writing the code for it okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to just modify the same code which is created so alignment let's give it as leading and let's give some space let's say 20 now let me delete this two thing and create a for loop here Now let's use the new syntax which is view that fits and this is available from 16 onwards so if you're using on Xcode 14 and the minimum target is 16 then only you will see its property. So view that fits. Okay. Now here we have to provide two items basically that the first view if it fits it will take the first otherwise it will go and it will take the second view so what is going to be my first view it is going to be simple text and then what I'm going to pass I'm going to pass here message and then here you have to provide a parameter that is called fixed size now why we are giving this fixed size so basically the fixed size modifier what this is telling that the text view that the message that we are passing here this should not get wrapped or should not get truncated okay now after this we have to provide one more view that is the alternative if this doesn't works that means the take size is more so let me create one more view in here I'm going to take a edge stack and then again the first will be text message now here you you can give that how many lines you want let's say that you want the minimum line has to be one or two or three that we can we can give using this line limit so i will give this line limit as let's say two that minimum i want two line to be visible okay and then i can take a button here and this button i can just name as so detail or we can call it as more and here you can give accents to navigate to a new page and where you can so the all detail okay now let's run this app so here if you see on the simulator the three view which is actually the bigger there I'm seeing that because I have you no know, fixed the line limit as two that's the reason that we are seeing the two lines and then we have the more button and in the last two scenario where I had very smaller text in that case it is taking the the first view okay so how basically this view that 
uh, fits works so firstly it checks that whether the first things that you are providing it fit into its parent container or not if it first then it will just show this part now if it doesn't fit then what it will happen it will go to the next view that we are providing in our case we are providing horizontal stick with text name button so it is going to that here as we are limiting the line as uh, two so you are seeing the two line if you let's say that if i limit it to three then the minimum line that will be visible on the screen that will be three so you can always control that line that how much line you want before showing a button uh, to the user so this view that fits makes things much much easier and swift ui while creating a view so now after limiting the line to three you can see that the minimum lines that is being shown before displaying the more button is three so that's all for today's video hope you enjoyed this video and if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you